Welcome back, everybody. Uh, Alice Miriam here, product educator at Zendler. And we are here to talk about the Zendler Live Impact Virtual Event Summit, which is happening on October 11th. Uh, if you're interested in attending that for free, you can go to zendlerlivesummit.newzendler.com to register for that, that for free. And today I have with me a special guest who will be a key speaker at the Zendler Summit, and that is Laura Donnelly. She's here with me today, and she's going to be talking about camera confidence with ease. Welcome, Laura. How are you? Hey, Alice. I'm good. See that when you have a background, you can't move too fast. I forget yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everybody makes mistakes right and so part of camera confidence with ease is to give yourself permission to recover from your mistake that's great well one of the things i do want to talk to you about what it is that you do um because as a user of zendler um, and you've been doing this for a while. So we want to have our speakers be able to share with other users their knowledge and experience so they can learn and grow when they're using the platform as well. And for you, I don't want to get too much into what your talk is going to be about, because if you want to see that information, you guys, you have to register for the summit and show up. Okay. So that you have to do. Um, but what I want to ask you, Laura, is... Um, how did you get into um, what it is that you do now? Tell us a little bit about what it is that you do. Okay. Primarily what I tell people I do is I teach people to move out of pain and any kind of pain. So this can be the pain of um, lack of self-confidence for something that they really need to do in their business. And this came about in a kind of an interesting way, is the 30 or more years ago, I was dancing and I wanted to be able to dance better. And when you are on stage dancing, you have to be right in the moment. If you are worried about the last mistake you made or you're worried about the next step, you're not here now. And as I started practicing that, the Alexander technique, which was the basis of the work I do, I learned that it didn't just help me dance better, it helped me be a better person. Then it helped me do everything I do better because I was able to discover the right effort for the activity I was doing. And especially when we get nervous, we jam up and we use too much energy because the nervousness, guilty. <laughs> <laughs> every human is guilty of that. Part of the nervousness is creates a barrier. And to get over that barrier, we feel like we have to get going running really fast, you know, and hit the little board and bounce over the barrier. And when we do that, see, even just talking about it, I suddenly am talking too fast. And the faster we talk, the harder it is for people to process what we say. They might hear us, but they can only like process one in every three words. So for me, who thinks fast and moves fast, the, the, I know all the people I like and love are people who, and, and probably a lot of, well, a lot of the people I've met in, in the New Zendler community are talented and smart and gifted in some area and passionate about wanting to share that information with more people and all of those things make us hit the speed button <laughs> and, yeah just off on on a and it's all good it's all good but when we really want to 
I was thinking about a cute little tag for my presentation. Uh, clear, connected communication. And that's what, what live gives me the opportunity to do with way more people than I can meet in person. I, I like live in rural Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's like not quite 3 million people in my whole state. So being able to uh, figure out how to be me on camera, how to be confident in being me, not some image of totally cool on camera person, you know, <laughs> that's not me. That's not going to resonate with my people. And so a lot of times I think people learn a lot of things doing workshops and things about, you know, I have to say all this stuff. I have to include all these things. When I'm excited, I have to talk louder. My voice has to go up. Actually, if you're excited, people are going to know it. They're going to feel it from your words, from your tone of voice, and from your facial expression. Mm -hmm. So I hope that was a good enough explanation. <laughs> yes, it was a fabulous explanation. That's it's one of the things that I really love about Zendler too, that, you know, how you brought up, like you are from rural Kansas, like you wouldn't have the opportunity to connect with so many people uh, if it wasn't for video, if it wasn't for that live interaction that you have with people. And that's the thing, like we live in this in this, this digital world now where we have access to the entire world, like all around the world. And our uh, users of Zendler are also from all around the world. We have members in so many different countries and places and time zones. Uh, that was one of the things that it was very interesting for me producing this summit is coming up with the schedule um, and making sure people were fit in the right time zone for, uh, for their own time zone. Like, I don't want to put somebody in because 9 p.m. at night for me, it's a fine time, but that's 2 a.m. for the UK. So chances are a speaker there isn't going to want that 9 p.m. slot, right? Um, EST time, right? That's 2 a.m. there. So it was quite interesting um, managing that. But it's also so exciting. You know, we are global and that is why we wanted to put together this event, this summit to bring together speakers from all over the world to share their knowledge and their experience using the platform, using that live video or video in any way to connect with people and just being able to learn how to manage those aspects of that live interaction in digital spaces and how impactful that can be for people um, all, all over the place and for our members. And to see that these are everyday people. You're an everyday person from rural Kansas, Laura Donnelly. Like that's, that's amazing. Yeah. And I, I just sent a link to one of my classes to somebody in Greece, but actually I think she's now in Eastern Europe. And, um, and just right then I like flipped out cause I put my hand out so quickly that it looked like my arm disappeared. <laughs> <laughs> but if, you know, if something like that happens, it's silly to pretend like it didn't happen. We, most of the people I've met on, uh, like colleagues in New Zealand are working to help people be themselves, to be their authentic selves. And, uh, and they wanna teach other people through their methodologies, how to be present and comfortable in their own skin. So if I, on camera, you know, if something weird happens and I deny that, what am I doing? I'm teaching these other people to deny what happened. Mm. And that's not, not, that's not what I want to convey. So a little bit, a little bit why live works for my work is it, it's the next best thing to being in person. 
And when I'm in person, I'm I'm not second guessing everything I say. I don't have a script. I'm not uh, reading talking points. I'm just listening to the person and hearing what they're talking about and seeing if I can share anything that I think is of value to the conversation. And so practice is good. I wanted to, to say that one of the early things, we've known each other for four or five years now, I think. And one of the early things you suggested that I do was make a private, me only Facebook group to practice going live to practice the technology of connecting Zoom to Facebook or whatever platform I was using. And so, you know, I'm not really advocating that people never practice before they go live, but. Yeah, those is, were good. Those are, That was five, that was just, it'll be over five years pretty soon, Laura. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Nice, doesn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, like you do practice. And I like that you said that because, you know, and it's not about practice makes perfect because we're not shooting for that. That's impossible. But we're looking for practice makes progress. Practice makes familiarity where you can start to become comfortable with the process, so with the process of um, being on camera, with looking at the camera, with the process, like you said, the technology pieces of connecting things. That's where you need to get comfortable. That's where people tend to get flustered because they're trying to split their focus between, oh, this technology bit. Oh, and I'm on camera too. And I have to talk and think about all this stuff. And it can feel overwhelming and that's completely natural. So having a private space where you can do a little practicing definitely can help for sure. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and then actually for me, I'm not a real techie, techie person. I'm, I, I kind of call myself a um, junior tech nerd. Yeah. <laughs> Well, because I like technology and technology makes things possible for me that would were not possible 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, or even earlier in my career. I'm, I mean, I moved to New York because to do my career, I had to be in New York, which meant I was 1500 miles away from my family. Now I can be 350 miles away from my family. <laughs> but I can be in the environment that I love. And that's one of the things about live that I, I am just so grateful for. And the um, and because most of what I do is in-person video, that's what I, in virtual person, like this, when we're talking, then we have the recording and people can learn from the recording. That's another bonus and benefit is you can have an in live, in virtual live experience, and the content can go into a class or, you know, or you can, you, you'll po post this for the summit promotion or whatever. And it has, uh, you can use it again so that you don't have to always make brand new stuff. But the addition in the last year of the live workshop, the live class format on Zendler is, is really uh, good for me because that fits my style and the way I teach and um, and then anything that happens in the live class that I want to pull out and reformat for a recorded class I can do and um, it's it's as I was saying I'm a, you know a junior junior tech nerd I, I like the bells and whistles and things and and if I if I go on AppSumo, I try to buy something because it looks cool. You know, sorry, just too much. But one of the things <laughs> I, I know, I know. One of the things I was really happy about is that, that how much is encapsulated in New Zealand that I don't have to patch together. And that, again, makes things easier for me. And I can spend my uh, nerdy energy fancying up my course or fancying up the words I use 
or adding a video to the sales page so that people know know what they're going to get mm -hmm. a little more and and instead of like i i have to integrate this thing and i have to share this thing and i have to do this you know all those bits and pieces that I just when i just did that you saw me like a, <laughs> it takes me away from me and when i can be me i'm i like me better and i and i think other people like me better and i for sure have more fun <laughs> Well, it's not just that other people like you better. I feel like the right people like you and are drawn to you because that was always my thing of being authentic and not hashtag authentic, but actually <laughs> your own authentic, right? Like not Instagram authentic, but like really authentic uh, is that you draw the right people to you. If you're pretending, I mean, we all wear a little bit of a mask at all times um, to present ourselves the way we want to be seen. But if we're like fully faking who we are and what we do, then we may be attracting the wrong people to us. And can you imagine like being surrounded by the wrong people and having to wear that, that heavy of a mask all the time when you're around all these people? That's the way I look at it. So I am very excited to um, have listened to your talk. And I always love hearing what you have to say, Laura, because it does like, it does just, it's very relaxing. Your voice is relaxing. And with you focusing on, on the ease of things, you always have this, this, um, this way of putting other people at ease because you are at ease. Right. And I just love that about you. And I cannot wait to hear your talk. I cannot wait for all of you to hear Laura's talk, which by the way is happening on October 11th. It's a Tuesday and you can register for the summit at Zendler live summit.newzendler.com. It's a 12 hour day where we have brought together 13 speakers from all around the world to share with you their experiences of using that live to connect with people and managing those aspects of live business in a digital space. And Laura is going to be one of our fabulous speakers talking about Clear. confidence. Yeah. Confidence with ease or on camera confidence with ease. And so it's not something you're going to want to miss. Even if you feel uh, pretty comfortable on camera, I think you're going to find Laura has a few little tips and insights that, that maybe uh, you will find useful, I think for sure. Right, Laura? I think so. I yeah. mean, the whole reason we're doing any of this is to connect with other people. And the clearer we can connect, the more joyfully we can create new friendships, relationships, and opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Laura. I appreciate you taking the time to talk with me today. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you at the summit. Awesome. So. It's always a joy to talk to you. And I'm I'm honored to be invited to be one of the guest speakers at the very first virtual first. live summit with New Zendler. With New Zendler. That's right. We'll see y'all there. Bye for now. <laughs>